The given specimen is of cerebrum. These are the two cerebral hemisphere. It is divided by median longitudinal fissure and connected by corpus callosum. Each cerebral hemisphere is ovoid in shape. Now moving on towards the, si the side determination. We look at the frontal pole, temporal pole and occipital pole. Uh, the the first one is the frontal pole, behind it lies temporal pole uh, in its lower aspect and in the posterior aspect occipital pole is present. Each cerebral hemisphere has three surfaces, superior lateral surface, medial surface and the inferior surface. It is divided by three borders, superomedial border, inferomedial border and inferolateral border. Each cerebral he hemisphere has six borders. This is the superior medial border. The inferior medial border is further divided into three anatomically. The anterior most portion is medial orbital border. The middle portion is inferior medial border and the posterior most is medial occipital border. Moving on to the lateral aspect, the anterior portion is superior ciliary border and the remaining portion is imperolateral border. Now talking about the lobes in the cerebrum, primarily there are four lobes present in the cerebrum, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe and occipital lobe. These four lobes are formed with the help of three main sulci and two imaginary lines. Three main sulcus are central sulcus, lateral sulcus, and parieto occipital sulcus. Two imaginary lines are the first imaginary line connects the upper end of parieto occipital sulcus to the pre occipital nodes. This is pre occipital nodes. It is present anterior to the occipital pole, so it is called pre occipital nodes. When we connect these two points, first imaginary line is formed. This is first imaginary line. The second imaginary line is a backward continuation of a posterior ramus. When we continue the posterior ramus backwardly, this forms the secondary imaginary line. The frontal pole is anterior to the, this is central sulcus, frontal pole is situated anterior to the central sulcus and above the posterior rami. This is posterior rami, so frontal, frontal lobe is present anterior to the central sulcus and above the posterior ramus. Now talking about the parietal lobe, it is present behind the, this is central sulcus, it is present behind the central sulcus and above the posterior ramus. So parietal lobe is present behind the central sulcus and above the posterior ramus. Now talking about the temporal lobe, it is present below the, this is posterior ramus or second imaginary line. It is present, be, be, it is present below the posterior ramus of lateral sulcus and second imaginary line. It is separated from the occipital pole by the lower part of the first imaginary line. So what is first imaginary line? When we connect the upper end of parieto occipital um, sulcus and pre-occipital nodes. When we connect these two nodes, first imaginary line is formed. So temporal lobe is present below the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus posterior to first imaginary line occipital lobe is present first imaginary line connects the pre occipital nodes and upper in the parieto occipital sulcus so this area is occipital lobe there are two other lobes are present in the cerebrum two lobes are the insula and limbic lobe insula is also called insular lobe it lies at the bottom of the lateral sulcus when we go beneath the lateral sulcus temp insula is found hence it is hindered from the surface view the limbic lobe the limbic lobe is seen on the medial and inferior surface it is the part of limbic system